Okay, we're out here at the apple tree, <laughs> ready to do some damage. We got three little trunks that are pretty beat up. We're gonna take out, clean that up. And Nikki's talking about cutting down just above that first branch there, cutting the whole top of this thing off, and grafting our new Honeycrisp whips right out of that big trunk. All right, got your glasses on, that's good. Yeah. Got some chain oil in that thing? Yep. I All did. right. I did. So She's I'm gonna on it. These little guys out first. Yeah, that makes sense. They don't need to be in here. We'll have some apple wood for our smoker. Uh huh. I'm just wondering. Yeah, maybe I should just take it all the way down. I don't know, that's what they show. You could do that, or you could just like take the top and then a couple branches. Well, the only thing we're giving up, since this tree isn't productive, it does provide shade out here on the pastures. Right. So that's the all... one thing to consider. Maybe I should just take it underneath here, and then I can see it better. And then I wouldn't have to worry about all these other branches. Well, if you cut below that first branch, you're not going to have any leaves on this thing at all to keep it alive. Cleft. Okay, you know better than I do. I'm just saying. It's called cleft grafting. Okay. And what I'm going to do is when you get flush, you clean up the edges and then you make a slit and you can put three scions on each side and then you electric take electric tape, the black electrical tape. Okay. And then that is what forms your new tree. So I'm going to do half Wilson or whatever the heck it is and half Honeycrisp. Okay, half Wilson, half Honeycrisp. And honey then crisp. that makes your new tree and then they'll pollinate each other. So okay. it's pretty thick, so I could get three scions on each. So technically, that's six branches if they all take. We should probably get some gloves and start by getting this nasty rose out of here. <laughs> this thing has yeah. got huge thorns, and it's weaving its way up around the trunk that you're trying I to take I have my out. pruners in there. Yeah? So, all right. Well, do you want to... I forgot my gloves. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> no, I can go get them. Trying to find a good angle. Uh, maybe I could do that. Oh, right. And I forgot my gloves, so that's what's matter. Alright, that's falling out. Moving. Is it hung up on the other branches? Ah, yes. Yeah. So I think we should go sharpen that chainsaw. Or maybe even throw a new blade on it. Okay. It's pretty rough. And then we can grab some gloves, yeah. deal with this rose. Can't do it. Yeah, we're getting some clouds. Looks like we're supposed to get some rain this e afternoon or into this evening, which would be great. Rain isn't going to hurt the wax. <clears throat> you should really have gloves to be doing that.
Rose is gonna get you. Come on, let's go gear up. Do it right. You might have to reheat your wax. You're not ready for that. You got some prep work to do before the grafting. I have a root for the grafting. Yeah, the yeah, but tree, though. Right, we gotta prep the tree. It takes time. And it takes sharp chainsaw. Yeah. It'll right. take longer if we don't sharpen the chainsaw. All right, based all right. on how you're cutting here. And why don't I grab the gas one and I could lop off that big chunk for you. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, it's just gonna take too long at the current state of affairs. And let's get some gloves so you don't hurt yourself. I am steel. Sharpen the tape. Oh, come on, you booger. That's a there. big. Look at that, see? Alright. In the wood. Oh, yes, yeah. ripping it right out of there. Look at this thing. See, it's just like eight feet tall. <laughs> That's a lot of rows. We go let these critters into the new paddock before it rains. Yeah. All right. They're here. Yeah, exactly. They're all looking at me. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Good morning. So which one did you say was bagging up? Well, again a little bit. Yeah. We're probably within a month of a couple kids here. Two, two Pop pregnant baby, two pregnant uh, female goats. Hey, Gertie. <laughs> oh, and all those holes that we filled in yesterday, the dogs undid them. Yeah, it's a constant battle filling in dog holes out here. Well, part of it's nice, they're eating from squirrels, but then it's like, I gotta train them to like fill, fill them back holes. in. That'd be yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, so we back fenced this morning, yep. excluded them from that hill back there. Now we're just going to let them into this fresh paddock here. They're ready. Oh yeah. We weren't this morning. This morning they were super chill. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Well, I think with the rain. You can see the difference. Yeah, rain's starting to spurt and sprinkle a little bit. You can see the difference. The green on the right is a new paddock. And they've eaten every bit of green out of this paddock they're in. Everybody's excited for a fresh piece of ground. <laughs> Deep sea fishing time. All right, here they go. Game on. <laughs> hey, Griffin. Good boy. Good boy. No jumping today, huh? Get some pets. <laughs> oh, I love the sound of happy chomping. Starting to feel like spring out here. <laughs> hey, Griffin. <laughs> Good boy. Hi, Sonata. Yeah, yours back. 
I'm not messing with you. <laughs> Ears back means she's unhappy with you. Ears up means she's in a good mood. So as long as you keep her distance, she's okay. She doesn't spit on us, so that's good. She's just a crotchety old lady. Good question. You okay? What number is it? Number four. That's junior. Okay. Well, she's mobile. You okay? Just not hungry? Okay, so she had the the lamb that died. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully we can resolve that this year. We've got our free choice mineral feeder here. We can get in and self-medicate or self-vitamin I guess is the way to say it. <clears throat> this just has a rubber flap on top to keep the powdered mineral dry. And there's 20 different slots here so <clears throat> we got our potassium, iodine, calcium, magnesium, sodium, a vitamin mix, potassium. Did I say potassium? That's phosphorus. K is potassium. Anyhow. It's two-sided, <clears throat> they can lift up and lift up the flap and get a, a bite of what they want. This is a, it's what they call a cafeteria style mineral feeder and uh, we get our mineral from Free Choice Enterprises, which is right here in Wisconsin, which is nice, it's actually only about a our drive. This end one is just uh, Redmond's salt. We got zinc, molybdenum, magnesium, copper, cobalt, boron, selenium. OH is a, another blend of vitamin bond and CB. Oh, actually, I think those are the uh, acid versus alkaline mixes so they can regulate their pH. We did, made the feeder ourselves just out of some redwood boards that were reclaimed from an old deck and some plywood. I do mean to, I've been meaning to add some sticks to kind of hold the flap up better. I just want to put verticals on this, but I haven't gotten around to it. So for now, we're just put some sticks under there so it's a little easier for them to lift up and get in there. And you can see it's a little chewed up. Everybody likes to dance around on top of this thing. And part of the part of the philosophy here is that the animals will be drawn to what they're lacking. They'll crave it. And by uptaking it, some of that excess will go out in their manure and help us to remineralize the land. Supposedly it's better than any uh, lab test you can get I'm um, just depending on those ruminants to and their cravings to guide us in the right direction so that's the idea we'll see see how well it works oh they're excited about this fresh grass 
Got a couple little trees we planted. This one's not doing well after the drought last year. But uh, we actually got one little spruce tree here that survived. So, yeah, I think that one's a Norway spruce. Um, yeah, looks a little rough, but it survived the drought, so I'm optimistic it'll, it'll fill in here and just give us a little bit of shade, a little bit of shelter up on this ridge. I plan to add little clusters of trees and shrubs throughout the pasture here to help protect the animals a little better, give them a little natural shelter they can work with. So I always make sure the pigtail's facing the fence. I don't know, that's just how I like to do it. And then Joe lines it up, but it gives it a little extra. Yeah, we both do it a little different, but yeah. as long as it works, as long as it's not shorting out, it doesn't fall down, we're good. Touching, 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 touching. There. Cool. And Joe tight. Just need some jumpers. Yep. Oh, must be spring. It's the first dandelion I've seen. <laughs> Love it. Just the one, too, in all this pasture. All right, here we are. Next day. Uh, we kind of got rained out yesterday ran out of time we went to sharpen our blade and the rain came in and we got an inch and a half of rain overnight so things are really greening up here really excited about that the nikki got out this morning with her fresh blade and started hacking away at this apple tree <laughs> yeah hacking up a lung uh all at the same time talent so you want to tell us what you're doing so um, I got two different cuttings um, at our old place. Um, there's We had a Honeycrisp and then it's Pollinator, which I don't know, it starts with a W. I want to call it a Wilson, but I don't know. But the stuff that I've been looking at, I want to do like a cleft prune, what it's called. So you make a slit down the cambium, open it up, and then you take your five, you know, five or six buds off your scion wood. Okay. And then Our cyan wood here. Yeah, and then you trim it so that that cambium. So you get cambium to cambium, and I think I could get away with like two on each side, maybe three. So I wanted to do half of the pollinator, half of the honey crisp, and then you tape it with electrical tape, and then cover it all with um, uh, paraffin wax so that you know it stays moist and it takes in the graft. You know, you get a good graft, otherwise you got a bunch of dead sticks and a dead tree. Okay, well, a so. little bit of an experiment. We haven't done this process before, no. so uh, we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. All right. So they usually tell you to take water sprouts, and that's what all these are. 
You're cutting right through a bud there? No, I'm going right above. Oh, right above a... Mm -hmm. And then, I don't want a bubble, beveled edge. And then, take your guy. Guy. So you're just trying to prune back the outer bark? or? Yeah, yeah, that's all you do. Because then this fits. So this big piece goes on the back end. And then this piece goes on your cutting and then you slide it right in there so take my knife Joe's gonna hate this and probably grandpa too oh, I got a sharp I'm there. dangerous but you know I'm dangerous just don't cut gonna... towards yourself I'm not I'm cutting <laughs> so I, I made this little wedge I guess there we go and then this slips in here. You don't even need rooting hormone. No? No. Not that I've seen. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. So you need big sleds. Get it in there. Okay. One. Alright, that's one. So you tape it and then wax it? Yeah. Okay. So you know which apple's which here? For the scions? I'm guessing. Because I got them all mixed up because it was <laughs> downpouring when I did it. Yeah. So. Downpouring when you took the cuttings? Yeah, it was oh. downpouring when I took the cuttings, and then I, uh, and then I just threw them in a baggie, and then we got busy. So I'm guessing at which ones are which. You know, it's not that they're both gross, but I remember in the chaos that uh, the bigger ones came off the pollinator, and then the honey crisp were the little ones. Okay. You know, let's see. Yeah. Well, those are getting one each, right? So you got the pollinator and the, and the one you're going for the fruit of. Right. Why aren't you coming to pet me? I'm staying out here forever. So you gotta make sure these are really tight so you get a good connection. Okay, so that kind of puts some pressure on, yeah. clamps them down. Yeah, I go around several times. So that'll help put some pressure on everything, keep it nice and 
tight in there. <laughs> okay, got some melted wax and it's in water. No. It's just the wax. Well, it's got a little bit of water, but because you use the water to heat it up. Okay. Yeah. It stayed pretty liquid in that thermos. That's a good, good application. A good uh, tool for that job. Well, if anybody out there watching has tips on how to wax this up easier, better, we are all ears. Yep. Leave us a comment. Let us know if there's a better way to do this. Or if I just broke it. So, we'll give you an update. See how it went. Oh, yeah. In a we'll, couple we'll weeks. We'll come back to this, see if the crafts took. And Hopefully we'll have updates for years to come. Or this is just dumb luck. Okay. Think I'm good. Alright, now we wait. Okay, so you got three spots you're gonna graft onto here. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little different. We're there, we cut the whole trunk. Here we've got some branches exposed. Three different branches that are gonna get grafts. Yeah. These I'm only gonna do one on each side. Just one, one graft on each branch? Or two grafts on each branch? Well, yeah, I'm gonna do pollinator and then one of the Okay. Okay, so the two scions are in there. Get them taped up. I'd go around three or four times. That's going to help keep the tension and yeah. just make sure it sticks and doesn't come unraveling on you. So that's the whole point of this tape is to keep tension on it. Here we go, my first time trying to do a graft. See how it goes. Oh, you're being
Hey, if this takes. That'd be cool. I know. I'll be. We'll be in business, man. <laughs> More apples than we know what to do with, which we already kind of do, but more is always better, right? Well, we'll find stuff to do with them. Yeah, I made juice and we did uh, have the kids come out and have cider and press it. So that's been a really good project for the third graders at every school. And then uh, made my own apple cider vinegar. That was fun. Works good. The animals like it. We like it. Ow. Okay. We're all drafted up. Yep, that's that.